Welcome to today's, as we continue in the series of what we have started. My name is Engineer Dr. Inok Mulenga. Uh, we continue to discuss a pathway to 100% solar PV system. And of course, our area of interest and concern and point of view is where we overdimension the solar panels. So the first part that we basically look at is the load classification and demarcation. Conventionally, traditionally, in all essence, the desire is to have one system that is able to meet your daily demand in terms of energy. So the daily energy demand comes from the appliances, the devices, the systems, or the gadgets that you have that rely on electricity. Some of the people in Zambia, those who live in urban and some in rural areas, are already connected to utility. In Zambia, we are supplied mostly by Zesco Limited. But of course, there are people who are now building their houses, and this becomes the first point of contact to look at the pathway, how they transition. Some of them are financially able to finance a complete solar system that can supply the level of comfort that they had when they were in a house that had uh, conventional electricity from the utility. So in case you don't have, you want to transition in bits and pieces, then you are supposed to do your road classification, demarcation, and make a priority list of what you want to start with. When I was coming up with this list, it's not a standard, it could be any other classification, but you have to put together the commons and those that you can easily supply with electricity. So the first level of comfort, uh, which enables that our eyes are able to function, which will also provide us with security, is lighting. Lighting is one of the fundamental roads uh, that is there either for those that already have got electricity that is conventional from Zesco or those that have got uh, no conventional electricity. In the long, long time ago, the sound system or the radio would be the common road when we come to entertainment, but we have transition where we have got TV, decoder and sound system. Then, of course, the other loads uh, follows. So once you make such a demarcation, it helps you to start to plan in terms of your energy. When we look at uh, the daytime and we look at uh, the nighttime aspect, you need to basically decide where you will use the majority of your loads. Of course, the system that we are going to put, which is a solar system uh, with the panels being the fundamental uh, source of the electricity that is produced. So in such a scenario, we need to, to see that we can actually use majority of the loads possibly direct from the sun 
So once you do your classification, it gives an input into what is the energy need of the dam. Once the energy need of the day is established, then we can use the peak sun hours to basically start to dimension what power you need on the panels and what storage you need in terms of energy and also the size of the inverter that you would use. For an example, if we are to use all these loads, we we'll basically need to have maybe between 5 to 10 uh, kilowatts in terms of uh, the total capacity of an inverter. So the first point that you have to look at is to classify your loads, group them so that they give you an input into your daily energy demand that should be satisfied during the year. It's, it's either in the hot season or sunny season or summer and the rain season and also the cold season or winter these three seasons that we have in zambia you have to consider that uh, your production from the solar panels is met by is met by the system that you need to power so thank you very much uh, the message is that you must classify, demarcate, and group your lots so that you have got input on your daily energy demand that sets the tone for a pathway to 100% solar system. Until next time, thank you very much.